the bulging fissure sign on chest radiograph and CT. Here is a patient who presents with a two-day history of pyrexia cough but not expectorating any sputum. He's very unwell and you can see that the right upper zone contains a mass-like area of consolidation. You can just see some uh, bronchograms running through it. And there is a line here and a line here. But the overall impression is that there's inferior bulging of what looks like a fissure. The horizontal fissure should be in this position and it's been displaced inferiorly just a little bit. And so this interface here is almost certainly a displaced bulging oblique fissure. Day two, things get worse. The opacification is more intense, although this could be due to the exposure factors. The air bronchogram is barely visible and there is an impression that whatever is going on in the right upper lobe is expanding. Later on, on day two, a further chest radiograph shows another inferior convex border to this fissure. Uh, it's not quite as uh, expanded as uh, five hours earlier, and you can now start to see uh, bronchograms. But by this time, the patient has been intubated. They've got a right internal jugular line, and they've had a nasogastric tube placed. Note also that the patient has developed atelectasis at the left base with some left mid-zone consolidation. A CT scan of uh, this patient shows a bulging oblique fissure. The horizontal fissure isn't bulging, but may well have been bulging on the earlier chest radiographs. On the axial image, you can see that the oblique fissure is located posterior to the left oblique fissure, indicating that there's a, a bulging process. And here on the coronal, you can see the bulging of the oblique fissure. Here is the small air bronchogram, and this confirms consolidation in the left mid zone. The more posterior coronal slices also demonstrated the consolidation and atelectasis in the left lower lobe. Also, note the mucus in the right main bronchus and trachea. The diagnosis in this patient was Legionella pneumonia. Here is a different patient who has Legionella pneumophila pneumonia. There is some left mid-zone consolidation, but the overriding problem is that you've got a bulging oblique fissure caused by massive expansion, and this was due to Legionella pneumonia. So what are the causes of a bulging fissure with uh, right upper lobe consolidation? Strep pneumonia or pneumococcal pneumonia is the commonest, then Klebsiella. Don't forget Pseudomonas and Staphylococcus aureus, but increasingly Legionella can cause this bulging fissure phenomenon. Uh, bad cases of TB can also be implicated. But don't forget that any cause of a space-occupying lesion that abuts the fissure can cause a bulging fissure. So a cancer, an abscess, hematoma.